Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. As you know, a few months ago I purchased the 2022 Lexus IS500 that's behind me. It's a beautiful, amazing sports sedan with a magnificent V8 engine. It's the best part of the vehicle. But uh, it might surprise you, but I'm going to be selling this vehicle and buy something else just because it doesn't quite fit my need. Now you might wonder why would I buy a car and keep it only for about a half a year and sell it? Well that's what I do anyways. I buy and sell cars all the time as part of the way to try different models and also to be able to showcase them in my channel. Um, but most importantly this is not quite what I expected. I went from a Toyota GR Supra to this one uh, and I kept that GR Supra for about a year and a half to two years so I did keep that for a fair amount of time. But the opportunity came up to sell this IS500, so I'm going to take the opportunity and uh, sell it. Uh, and then I'll be buying something else. Now I do know what I want to buy, but I don't want to tell you yet until it's all confirmed. Uh, but what do you think it is that I'm buying? Maybe you can take a guess. It might surprise you because it's neither Toyota nor Lexus. So perhaps you can write in the comment below what you think I'm buying after selling my IS500. Now let me give you a quick uh, walk around of the IS500 and explain to you why it doesn't meet my need. It most likely will meet your need, uh, but it's not quite the right car for me. So let me go around and show you exactly what I mean. Let's get into it. Welcome back. So here's the uh, 2022 Lexus IS500 that I've owned for about half a year. And to be honest, it's the best sports sedan that anyone can ever buy with amazing V8 engine that is more or less the same engine that's in a flagship Lexus LC. You can see the hood bulge right here uh, because they had to accommodate the engine. So the entire hood and a little bit of the front end had to be changed. And the engine is the best part, the five liter V8 Oh my goodness, makes amazing sound. It uh, has revs up to the red line with ease. And uh, you know what? There's nothing out there that's uh, close to this IS500. In terms of engine performance, in terms of feel, of the powertrain, and how smooth and refined the whole thing is. So this IS500 is as perfect as you can get in terms of having a sports luxury sedan in a compact um, size and still offering beautiful beautiful interior and exterior the ultrasonic blue paint is absolutely gorgeous i had it ceramic painted because i was going to keep this car for a while and therefore it's still in top shape and is as good as brand new actually the paint job is better than when it was new because uh, it's being uh, paint corrected and uh, ceramic coated by a professional so why am i selling this well there are many reasons but primarily this is a rear wheel drive car and of course my gr supra was a rear wheel drive. But when I went from the Supra to this one, I was thinking that the IS500 will be a little bit uh, more uh, practical and that uh, perhaps I can still use it in the winter time. But here in the west coast of Canada, uh, well, rear wheel drive car with a big V8 engine is pretty well useless. It's too slippery even when it's just raining uh, around the, um, my area. And then of course it's totally useless in winter. I could put a winter tires on it, but it would still be quite slippery. And because the car is very light, it just wouldn't perform, which means for four to six months of the year, I can't really use this car properly. Or if I do use it, I can only use it lightly. So it kind of uh, defeats my purpose of having this as my daily driver, even though I will have the Tundra TRD Pro. That is my work truck. And this is sort of meant to be my uh, day to day uh, vehicle. So I need something that I can use all year round, not something I only use it for six to eight months of the year. So that's the primary reason I'm selling. Otherwise, there's nothing wrong with this beautiful, amazing IS500. And I'm sure in five to maybe 10 years down the road, this will become a collector's uh, model because it's going to be rare. And I'm sure maybe they'll produce this for one more year and that's it. There'll be no more IS500, no more V8 engine no more internal combustion engine models from Lexus after 2030 anyway. So this will become a collector's item. Um, and then also let me talk about things that um, I'm not super happy about. As I mentioned in my previous videos, the car has um, beautiful and perhaps the best V8 engines in the world, but 
the steering effort and the way car drives around twisty curves are less than ideal. It is uh, very flat around the corners, it's quite agile, and the ride is amazingly smooth and refined. But I find the steering effort to be a little bit too light even in a Sport S Plus mode and it doesn't have a lot of steering effort and steering feel from the road so it's a bit numb and therefore not as fun to drive as you think. So think of the IS500 as a modern muscle car with amazing acceleration and a beautiful engine to go with it uh, but not the best car to enjoy in a twisty mountain road because while it stays flat and corners really well and uh, even the transmission shifts uh, very smoothly it doesn't give you the maximum uh, enjoyment just because there's lack of feel on the steering something that uh, Lexus really needs to sort out because uh, even the LC500 has the same flaw and therefore it's not as fun to drive in terms of uh, taking it out on the mountain roads or curvy road like on the way to Whistler which is an amazing road that we have here and then there are other shortcomings too we don't get the moon roof here in the Canadian version of the model which is a bit of a uh, oversight by Lexus and um, I do like the ultrasonic blue paint surprisingly it's amazing color but the white seats are a little bit cumbersome because it's very light and uh, even though I don't really wear jeans I can already tell that some color is being transferred I do have this uh, seat cover on which is a neoprene seat cover that just goes over it and actually it works really well but I don't really want to have a seat cover on when the seats are so beautiful underneath so therefore I'm not too crazy about the interior color as well as I mentioned no sunroof or moonroof on the top and then also it's a very small car uh, which is okay if you don't have to carry passengers but I got some stuff in the back here but it's a pretty small place the legroom is extremely tight a trunk space is actually not bad it's better than expected um, but it's not the most practical car so I thought when I moved from GR Supra to this car uh, even though this is still a rear wheel drive car it made sense because uh, of the fact that this is four door and therefore more practical well actually the rear seat is not very usable so it's not as comfortable in the long drives if you have to carry some passengers in the back otherwise I have no complaints about this IS500 again beautiful quality uh, in terms of manufacturing built in Tahara factory in Japan I've been to that factory many times and some of the best production people are there producing this car so what can you say about the quality it's top notch perhaps one of the best in the world and as I mentioned, the paint job looks amazing. Even though I'm not a huge fan of a blue color, I've actually grown to like this ultrasonic blue paint because it really glows in the dark almost, in a sense that it has such amazing gloss and sheen. You can see it's a mirror image right here. And especially with the ceramic job, oh my goodness, you can't beat the paint job. I get lots of uh, remarks on the road and lots of thumbs up. Uh, because for a small Lexus sedan, it looks gorgeous. Now, I will also say that this car is a lot like Lexus uh, GSF in terms of the performance, the overall feel, in a sense that the ride is amazing. <laughs> it's just super smooth, very comfortable, not very much like a sports sedan because it's almost a little bit soft uh, for my taste, but it is extremely refined, silky smooth in a very much uh, Lexus fashion. So that's a very much a, a plus and also it's very quiet. So if you want sort of a sleeper car with um, world-class quality and a very smooth ride, refined feel and one of the best noise vibrations and harshness or NVH with perhaps the best V8 engines in the world, this is definitely the car for you. Especially if you live in warmer climate and you don't really need to worry about uh, winter driving or the fact that this is a rear wheel drive. So lots of things to love about this IS500 uh, and I'm sure that whoever buys this car from me would fall in love with it and will keep it for many years because I suspect in about uh, 10 years or so this will become a collector's item and who knows maybe you'll double in price in much the way um, Supra has done so I have no doubt it's in uh, going to be in good hands with someone now for me I do definitely need all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive here in the west coast of Canada so that's what I'm looking for and actually I may have to move away from a sedan 
and then go back to crossover or SUV, which really is what I need in terms of the work I do and the people I carry. So that's the direction I'm going. Uh, but what do you think? I know you guys think I'm crazy to sell this vehicle, which is a limited edition, almost impossible to find, but uh, at some point you gotta let it go. And right now, being a summertime, is the best time to sell this vehicle. So I'm going to say goodbye to my beloved Lexus IS500 for good reasons, and with the hope that the next buyer will enjoy it for many years to come, because this car deserves the best attention which I'm not able to give just because I'm not using it so much. Uh, so that's about it for now. Uh, again, let me know what you think I will be buying because I have made my decision, but I'm not gonna announce it until I finalize the deal. And you'll see it very soon, what uh, Lexus IS500 is being replaced with. So I look forward to your comments and feedback. Thank you so much for watching my video. Let's stay in touch, but for now, I'm signing off. Thank you so much. If you can make some comments and subscribe and thumb, give me a thumbs up, I truly appreciate that. We'll talk to you soon.